Welcome to our video today. The channel is Theta Talks. You've not uh, uploaded a video for some time now, but now we are back, guys. I'm sorry for that. Today we are going to talk about something very interesting, something very sensitive, and I know you will like it. My name is Vincent, and the channel is Theta Talks. Welcome, guys. What's up, guys? Welcome to our video today. My name is Vincent from Africa here. It's your boy Vincent. We're going to to share something very important. We've not posted a video for some time, but now we are back due to some technical issues. Now we are back, guys. I had issues with my camera, but now uh, I think uh, uh, we have solved it a bit. So it's a challenge to get uh, uh, for from our camera, but here we are now, guys. I know today we are going to talk about something very important and uh, you're going to enjoy what we're going to talk about. Hope you have had a good time. Our channel is Future Talks. Can you have not subscribed? Please subscribe to our channel. And that is the best way to make us grow. We want to commend those who have supported us. So for those who have subscribed to our channel, guys, I want to appreciate you. And for those nice comments and also the DMs I'm getting, it is marvelous. Kindly for those who are interested to support us and also give your contribution. We have uh, in our details about our channel, we have uh, the best way to reach us and also we share on how to promote our channel and also grow to the next level. This is your channel, it's not my channel. Uh, we want you to improve it uh, as much as possible. We want to improve as much as possible so that you can enjoy it. Welcome guys. The clitoris forms during fetal development from the same uh, tissue that form the penis in males. In the first few weeks of uh, develop, uh, fetal development, a genital tubercle begins to grow between the legs of the embryo. By the end of the 12th week, the tubercle begins to differentiate into either a penis or a clitoris. So, depending on the presence or the absence of certain hormones. So, at 12 weeks during the fetal or the embryo development, that's when the differentiation of a male or a female uh, comes about. Depending on the, the combination of the genes from the mother and also from the father uh, on the mother's genetics. So, in females, the, uh, the genital tubercle becomes the clitoris and the continues develop throughout the, to, uh, to puberty. The visible, the visible parts of uh, all the clitoris is the gland, that's what can be seen, and also which is located in the front of the vulva of the vaginal opening. However, the clitoris extends internally with the two shafts. Uh, that are about three to four inches long and extend down to the sides of the vaginal canal. These structures are made up of erectile tissue and are surrounded by nerves, uh, blood vessels and uh, muscles. The primary function of the clitoris is to provide sexual pleasure to women. It contains thousands of nerve endings, making it highly sensitive to touch and, and, and the pressure. When stimulated, uh, when stimulated, the clitoris can produce intense sensation of pleasure that can lead to orgasm. In addition to sexual pleasure, some studies suggest that the clitoris may have other functions as well. For example, it may play a role in maintaining vaginal health by increasing blood flow to the genital area and producing natural uh, lubrication. It may also be involved in fertility. Now, some researchers believe that the contractions produced during orgasm can help to move sperm up uh, the reproductive tract. However, more research is needed to fully understand this poten the, the potential functions of uh, the clitoris. Uh, the benefits of, the, of sex in, the, in women. There are different uh, benefits of uh, uh, sex in women. So, and there are potential benefits of sex for women, both physical and also the psychological part of it. And here I'm going to give some examples of the benefits of the sex for the women. 
Number one, it improves cardiovascular health. So sex can be a form of aerobic exercise. That is through the that's how it improves the cardiovascular health, which can help improve the health of the, of the body. Uh, so as an aerobic exercise, it improves the circulation of the body because of the kind of the body, the parts of the body which are involved. Number two is about the one other benefit is about hormonal balance. Sex can help regulate hormones such as the estrogen and the progesterone, which can have a positive impact on the mood and the, the energy levels. So the, the sex is very important because it balances the estrogen and the progesterone, which affect the mood and also the energy levels. Number three is about uh, the, another benefit of sex is in, in the women is pain relief. Because sex releases endorphins, which can help alleviate the pain and discomfort, particularly during the menstruation or after birth. So it is a common, is, a, is a, actually from the research, it shows that the, when one is involved in, in, in sex, especially prior to the periods, the cramps are not very severe. At that point, the pain is not very severe because of the release of the endorphins and also proper circulation of that uh, the abdominal area so the pain is very well managed uh, it's not very severe like when one is not involved in the sex in the sexual act so another thing is about immune improved immune function so regular sex activity can also may help boost the immune system and improve the resistance to infections so it boosts the immunity of the lady. Another, another very important is about stress relief. Sex can be a powerful stress reliever, helping to reduce uh, anxiety and also promote uh, relaxation. Another very important aspect is about increased intimacy and bonding. So because sexual activity can promote intimacy and closeness between partners, leading to greater emotional connection and also about uh, satisfaction. Last but not least is about improved self-esteem. Positive sexual experiences can help boost self-confidence and, and the feeling of uh, self-worth for the ladies. So it is worth noting that these benefits may not apply to every individual and that safe sex practices are important for protecting, protecting against sexual transmitted uh, infections. So additionally, it is important to communicate with your sexual partner, partners and prioritize consent and mutual pleasure for positive and health sexual experience.